National Center for Integrated Pest Management was established in 1988 at Faridabad and was shifted to the premises of Lal Bahadur Shastri Center of Indian Agricultural Research Institute, Pusa Campus, New Delhi, in 1995. The center works as an interface between the crop-based research institutes of ICAR, state agricultural universities, and the extension agencies of the state agricultural departments and farmers with a mandate to develop and promote IPM to develop information base for key pests of national importance, to establish linkages and collaborative programs, and to extend technical consultancies. Pest management is a major issue in crop production and food security. There have been severe pest outbreaks in the recent past, such as American bollworm on cotton and pulses, tobacco caterpillar on soya bean, potato late blight, brown plant hopper, and neck blast on rice in the northern belt and mealy bugs on cotton, papaya and mulberry. The chronic pest problems such as gamosas of citrus, nematode problems, white grubs etc are further spreading to newer areas. Annual losses of 18% were estimated because of various biological stresses amounting to rupees 60,000 crores in the year 2001. During the last two decades, the centre has crossed many milestones towards development, large-scale validation and promotion of IPM. Based on the available research results on individual components, IPM modules are developed by NCIPM. The important components of a module are use of pest-resistant varieties of crops, good agricultural practices such as deep summer ploughing, balanced use of fertilizers, and use of green manures, proper spacing, etc. Mechanical methods like manual picking of the pests, scouting and pheromone-based monitoring, biocontrol using biopesticides and botanicals such as neem products, conservation of natural enemies with habitat management and judicious use of chemical pesticides against key pests of the crop on an ecological, economical and environmental friendly basis towards better crop production. To begin with, a baseline survey of the villages is conducted as a community-based approach is desirable to get the best out of IPM. Farmers group meetings are organized in the villages to involve all the farmers in adopting various IPM tactics. For the first time, NC IPM developed and promoted the IPM technology in cotton through farmers' participatory mode at Ashta village of Nandit district in Maharashtra as early as late 90s. Ashta IPM model was further adopted during 2001 to 2003 crop seasons across the country and the reduction in pesticide use was nearly 60%. When BT cotton was introduced in 2002 and soon adopted on a large scale by farmers of the country, change in emphasis from bollworms to sucking pest management was imminent. Keeping pace with these changes, NC IPM developed IPM tools for BT cotton at 12 collaborating centers of the North, Central and South cotton growing zones and showed that IPM is necessary to get the best out of BT cotton technology. The outbreak of mealy bug on BT cotton in 2007 that caused losses of rupees 159 crores in Punjab was tackled successfully through awareness campaigns and pest management advisory across eight districts and 320 villages during 2008 
in collaboration with Central IPM Center Jalandhar, Krishi Vigyan Kendra Faridkot and the State Agricultural Department. Having identified the excessive fertilizer and pesticide use as dominant constraints to plant protection in Basmati rice in Uttar Pradesh and Haryana and low application of fertilizers and pesticides in Dehradun, NCIPM formulated and validated rice IPM in a number of villages such as Shikopur, Chhajpur, Aterna, Tilwari, Dudli, etc. Insecticidal application on premium export basmati was reduced from 4 to nil with significant increases in the yield. Over the last decade of concerted efforts, horizontal spread of the IPM technology in basmati rice took place through various extension means. In the rice ecosystem, a technology of conservation of spiders has been standardized using straw bundles at the rate of 20 per hectare in paddy fields. The predatory spiders increased threefolds and reduced insect pests in IPM fields. For outstanding work in cotton and rice IPM, NC IPM received the coveted ICAR Team Award in 2004 and 2008. IPM farmers from the adopted villages also won awards. In pigeon pea and chickpea, insect pests and diseases take a heavy toll. These crops are mostly grown under subsistence conditions by the resource poor farmers. IPM development and large-scale farmers' participatory validation has also been successfully carried out in chickpea and pigeon pea. In mustard, timely sowing by middle of October and a single intervention of Trichoderma herzianium, seed treatment and soil application through FYM invariably give better yield. Groundnut crop also responds well to the IPM interventions and provides rich dividends to offset major pests such as cholerot, spodoptera and white grubs. Area-wide validation of IPM technology in cabbage, cauliflower, bell pepper, okra and brinjal have proven effectiveness of IPM in terms of significant yield increases and reduced insecticide usage. The centre has also initiated IPM for protected cultivation as cucumber, bell pepper, tomato and flowers of various kinds often face chronic pest problems such as nematodes, mites, thrips, white flies, wilts, etc. IPM modules are being standardised for these situations and initial evaluations indicate excellent management of root knot nematode. The centre has developed a number of electronic databases for various pests and pesticide advisory provides latest knowledge in proper pesticide use. The centre has developed literature and films for popularisation of IPM. The web-enabled online pest monitoring program for soya bean, cotton, chickpea and pigeon pea crops of Maharashtra covered nearly 2 lakh farmers of Maharashtra through SMS advisories based on real-time pest situation. Due to effective management of soya bean pests, there was a net gain of 1057 crore rupees in 2009. Microbial laboratory of NCIPM serves as a first step for diagnosis and validation of biological resources. The centre has a repository of more than 80 insect pathogens and antagonists and the nucleus culture of bioagents are supplied for field testing purposes across the nation. The centre conducts regular trainings on mass production technology of bioagents for prospective entrepreneurs and provides consultancies. The centre has a well-established library, an airy cell with land facilities and GIS workstation for production of pest distribution maps and pest forecasting. The centre has an active web page that serves the interests of users 
of various categories, right from progressive farmers, extension machinery, researchers, students, and policymakers. The center has patented gadgets used in mass production of bioagents like egg cleaning device and egg sterilization chamber of Coursera, an aerial insect trap and break and field kit have also been patented. Systematizing and converging the multi-stakeholder plant protection efforts for enlarging effective IPM adoption is the current priority of the center.